Hello students. In this video, I am going to talk about the working of a decade counter and how to get the output of a decade counter on seven segment display. Let us start. First of all, what do you understand by a counter? So a counter is a special type of sequential circuit which is used to count the clock pulses. So it is basically going to count like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on up to n depending upon how many flip-flops we have used. So we have two types of counters with us. One is known as asynchronous counter and the second one is known as synchronous counter. Although both the counters are just going to count in the same manner that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on up to n but their functionings are different, their connections are different. First of all, what is an asynchronous counter? And an asynchronous counter is the one in which the clock is just given to the first flip-flop and the remaining clock signals are actually being connected with the output of the previous flip-flop. So that means in asynchronous counter, all the flip-flops are not working together. They are not working in synchronization with each other because the clock is just given to the first flip-flop. On the other hand, what is a synchronous counter? A synchronous counter is the one in which all the flip-flops in the counter are clocked at the same time by the common clock pulse. That means in synchronous counter, all the flip-flops will be connected with the same clock and hence they all are working in synchronization with each other. Next is modulus. This modulus is very important term. A modulus of a counter is the number of unique states through which the counter will sequence. That means the total number of states a counter can count is known as modulus. For example, a 2-bit counter can count 0, 1, 2, 3. Hence, the modulus of a 2-bit counter is 4. Next is a decade counter. So, students, decade counter is a type of a truncated counter that we have. Truncated means that the modulus is not the maximum Rather, we have cut the counter outputs in between. Those are known as truncated counters. So, what is a decade counter? Decade means 10. So, a counter which is going to count 10 states is known as a decade counter. So, that means a decade counter can count from 0, 0, 0, 0, that is 0, till 9, that is 1, double, 0, 1. So, total number of states, a decade counter can count is 10, starting from 0 till 9. This is also known as BCD code because BCD is also allowed from 0 to 9 in binary number system. So this is how your decade counter can count starting from 0, 1, 2. I am talking about the binary calculations. 0, 0, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 is 2. So you can see it over here as well. A counter is a device which can count the clock pulses. So it is going to count till 9. So, you can have a look over here. 1001 is 9. So, after 9, it is again going to start from 0. So, a decade counter is a counter which can count total 10 number of states starting from 0 to 9. Hence, the modulus of a decade counter is 10. So, now here comes the pen diagram. First of all, 7490 is the IC number that we are going to use over here. 7490 is known as asynchronous decade counter. I have already informed you what is the meaning of asynchronous counter and what is the meaning of decade counter. So now let us discuss this pen diagram. This 7490 consists of total 14 pens. Pen number 1 is your clock 2. 2, 3 are known as reset pins. R1, R2, reset pins. 4, no connection. 5, VCC. 6, 7, both are again our reset pens. 8, QC, QC is our output. 9, QB, QB is our output. 10, ground. 11, QD, output. 12, QA, output. 13, no connection. 14, clock number 1. That means the clock to the first flip-flop. Now let us discuss how we will be making the connections. Now, Pin number 1 because this is clock 2 and this is asynchronous decade counter. So, in asynchronous counter, the clock is just given to the first flip-flop. So, you can have a look over here. This is our first flip-flop. So, the clock signal will be connected at pin number 14. Whereas, the remaining clocks will be connected with the output. Hence, 
clock number 2 will be connected with our pin number 12. That means the output of the previous flip flop that is QA. 2, 3 are reset pins hence connected with ground. 4th no connection. 5th VCC. 6, 7 also reset pins hence connected with ground. 8, 9 output signals. 10 ground. 11, 12 again output signals. 13 no connection and 14 clock signal number 1. So, the number of total input signals which we are going to connect in 7490 is just 1 that is clock because a counter is a device which can only count clock signals and the output signals there are 4 output signals QA, QB, QC, QT which are going to count from 0000 to 1001 that is from 0 to 9. The next IC is 7447. This is a BCD to 7 segment decoder which will be able to get 4 input signals from 7490 that is QA, QB, QC, QD and then it will be converted to the 7 segment output that is A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So, let us discuss the pin diagram. It has total 16 pins as you can see over here on the screen. B which is actually QB. C which is QC, D which is QD and A which is QA. Ground VCC, this is LT bar, this is BI bar and this is RBI bar. Pin number 3, 4 and 5 are the testing pins where LT bar stands for the lamp test, BI bar stands for blanking input and RBI stands for ripple blanking input. These three pins are used for the testing of IC. Afterwards, we have the output signals which is A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Starting from pin number 13, we have A, B, C, D, E and 15, F and 14, G. A bar is mentioned on all these pins which means that all these pins are active low pins. Active low means we will be receiving a 0 as the output signal. So, how about the connections? Pin number 1, 2, 6 and 7 will be connected with QA, QB, QC, QD from 7490. 3, 4 and 5 we are not going to use any connections over here as these are the testing pins. Then we have ground, then we have VCC and the last is A, B, C, D, E, F and G which is going to be connected with the segment segment output. So, this is the connection of 7447 which is a decoder. Next is our 7 segment display. So, this is our 7 segment display. Here we have A, B, C, D, E, F and G. These are the 7 LEDs which are going to either glow on or off depending upon what we are supposed to show at the output. So, here we have 1 as E, 2 as D, 3 common, 4 C, 5 DP. DP stands for decimal point over here. Then we have B, A, common F and G. So, common is going to be the pen where we can connect either VCC or ground depending upon that whether we are using common inode configuration or cam common cathode configuration and pin number 8 and 3 is already short circuited in between 7 segment display. So, A, B, C, D, E, F and G from 7447 will be directly connected with here A, B, C, D, E, F and G of this 7 segment display. Next is the testing of 7 segment display. So, we have two types of 7 segment displays with us. One is known as common inode, other one is known as common cathode. So, right now in your experiment you will be using the common anode configuration. So, as already discussed any one common will be connected either with ground or BCC. So, as you are using common anode configuration, so this will be connected with VCC. For common cathode configuration, the common either your you can see either pin number 3 or pin number 8 will be connected with ground and A, B, C, D, E, F, G will be connected with 0 signal that means A bar, B bar, C bar, D bar, E bar and F bar like this 7447. Y bar because we are using the common anode configuration of 7 segment display. That is why we must have 0 as the output and if 0 is coming that LED will glow otherwise not. 
and the opposite is going to work for the common cathode configuration. Next is connections. The main connections for a decade counter to show the output on a 7 segment display. As already discussed, 7490 pin number 1 connected with pin number 12 as you can see it over here. 5 VCC, 14 clock input, 2367 ground, 413 no connections, 10th ground and now 12, 9, 8 and 11. These are QA, QB, QC and QD respectively connected with 7, 1, 2, 6 of 7, double four seven. as already discussed. QA, QB, QC, QD will be directly connected with the 7447 because 7447 is our decoder which will have BCD as input and 7 segment as output. So 3, 4 and 5 are our testing pins that we are not using right now. Pin number 16 connected with VCC. Pin number 8 connected with ground. After that we have as you can see it over here students bubble. Bubble means we are using active low configuration. So as already discussed we have A bar, B bar, C bar, D bar, E bar, F bar and G bar. So 13 connected with 7. 12 with 6, 11 with 4, 10, 2, 9, 1, 15, 9 and 14, 10. So this is going to be the connections of our 7490 with 7447 and finally 7 segment display. And do not forget to either connect pin number 3 or 8, any one with VCC through 1 kilo ohm resistance. Maximum resistance that you can use is 1 kilo ohm resistance so that the VCC which we are having the voltage is going to drop across 1 kilo ohm. Hence, the 7 segment display will receive the voltage less than VCC so that it will not short circuit and uh, the lesser amount of voltage will be provided to our 7 segment display. So, this is all about your connections. And now, the last is the truth table. Uh, now, QD, QC, QB, QA. These are our output signals. Again, QD, QC, QB, QA. So, for 0000, this is what you will be observing as the output display at 7 segment display. A, B, C, D, E, F. All these will glow and G will not glow. For 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, these all are going to be your output signals across your 7 segment display starting from 7490 decade counter. Thank you so much.